Do you sleep here, Jacob? Ben sleeps here. I don't sleep. There are maggots in the bed. Your meat's turning, friend. Food is scarce. We make do. Whatever haunts the boy spawns maggots. We should talk to this Ben fellow. Oh, there to you, Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir. Farewell to you, Mr. Lynn. Farewell, Mr. M yes, still disgusting. Are these Ben's things? Most of them. Not the rope. You can have it if you want. Kind of you. Thank you. Ben went out without a gun. We're trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety, but it got damp. Doesn't work. He's so confused, I doubt he knows what year it is. What happened to him? Maybe his mate abandoned him. Quick mist. Spun by a ghost after a violent death. Anisher row number eight. Don't get lost in quick mist, lest the spectres get you. Wise, but I see no other way. Either Ben was lost in the mist, or he's the source of it.
You might be able to drop down from here. I do love a drop into the deep unknown. I see further than the end of my arm down there. Don't worry, it'll affect your other senses too. Yep. Oh, this quick mist is thicker than a Scotch dragoon. It smells almost as bad. I could show you the way. Just saying. Wait. That's, that's better. And a little terrifying. Something's nearby. Where is it? Do you see that? It looks like the fog is coming from those odd-looking stalagmites. Hold on. I think I can rid us of the quick mist. Huh? Well, I'm partly made of the same stuff. in left. I'm sorry. I didn't know that would happen. We got away with it. Let's find what caused it. You mean, let's find out who died?
feel a draft. From the invisible. Traces of a struggle. An echo hangs on it. My voice commands you! Unveil! Focus red. Reunius fat aster chimi. I can't do it no more. On your feet, Lind. We don't no. give up. I've had enough. There's no way up. There's no way down. For days we've eaten nothing but boiled shoe leather. I'm done. We don't give up. <laughs> Leave me be. God be damned, I'm sick of carrying you! What are you doing? Don't hurt me! I hate you. I hate you! Ben died in the fall. And now his maggoty ghost is back to haunt the friend who pushed him. So was Jacob lying to hide the mother? He wouldn't be the first. We need to find the body, if the wolves haven't gotten there first. Something's concealed. been torn to pieces. No, wait. He's been carved with a knife. For his meat. Still no tie. A Jacob's hovel, perhaps? Jacob was eating meat. Jacob was eating Ben. really hungry enough to eat his friend. Maybe the nightmare had something to do with it.
Das wohnt er. You shouldn't stay in there. One less to worry about. Let's look for our tie while Jacob's outside. Poor lad. His food is the meat of the matter. I tell you, that's horrible. Never heard a worse pun. I like it. I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it before? There were so many spectral stains, it's a wonder we found it at all. Come on, let's talk to Ben. Call for the ghost. You're not Jacob. Who's you? My name is Red McGrath. The Scot. You? Antea Duarte. We're banishers. We can help you. I'm beyond help. Where's Jacob? You tried many times to leave this place. I tried and failed. Week on week, month on month maybe. We went in circles. The woods are tricky, sir. Treacherous. Mean. Round and round we went. Round and round and back again. Jacob said you both had nightmares. The same nightmare. Aye. And yet we got no sleep. Couldn't tell truth from fantasy. The shadows seemed to flicker at the corners of our eyes. How long have you and Jacob been out here in the woods? Some winters now, but this one, it never ends. No way out, no way in. We were alone, not an animal in sight. Oh, when things changed, we got stuck. 
These godforsaken woods. We know what befell you, Benedict. What keeps you here? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done, and I cannot go. I cannot go. But I'll not hate him. How could I? We thought him lost in mind and reason. Who'd not lose their mind? Stuck in place for weeks on end, deprived of a living, deprived of a life. Though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking, because I was thinking it too. What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. What does he need that he may let go? He needs to face the truth. To accept what he has done to both of us. At night, he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business, and no one else's. So tell me, Banisher, what did we do to deserve this? This was not God's doing. Another powerful entity is at work here. New Eden is cursed. Then God has forsaken us, and we are doomed. Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher. Perhaps we shall. Jacob must confess. I fear the truth will break him. Oh, there's dear Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? You were struggling yourself and Ben. Why'd you not leave? Leave? No, can't leave. This here is home. We trap here, we eat here, we tan pelt to leather here. Our lives are here. Can't leave. Did you not try the river? The fog had to lift some time, and if you stay, you'll starve. We have enough. Thanks to Ben. Ben wanted to leave. You argued. Remember? Ben's out and about right now. We don't argue, you know. One time, a storm caught us napping. Sidelong hailstones and everything. We was lost. But we found our way. Even then, Ben never said a word in anger. Even though I slowed him down. Has he lost his mind? Or is he tricking with us? I can't tell. I'm sorry, Jacob, we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened to Ben, say so. Where is he? Benedict is in pain. For his sake, you need to remember what happened. You need to remember what you did. But I... No. I would never... 
I couldn't hurt him. I love him. Jacob, look at me. It's safe to remember. Now tell me, what happened on that cliff top? I was tired. So tired. Hunger was digging holes in me, burning in my throat. I could think of nothing else. We don't give up. We don't give in. But I wanted to. I wanted it all to stop. Yet you gave up on Benedict, and then you turned on him. I failed him. I failed Benedict. I was so angry, so angry. He kept pushing me. We kept, we argued, and I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whisper said, it was him or me, him or me. I would have died. I should have died. For my sins, I deserve no better. I failed God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. We both faced a choice, simple and awful, to kill or to die. You struck first and here we are. Do you forgive me? Our fates are in the hands of others now. Yes. Banisher, do your job. If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it's done. Red. If we take one step along that path... Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. Do we kill? To be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now.
Jacob Lind, you believe you merit no mercy, but your suffering must have an ending. You murdered your friend, the man you called your brother. You fed on him. Then you denied your part in his ending and bound his spirit to this realm. You can never right this wrong. But the truth and your death will ease his suffering. There can be no half measures here. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Benedict, my friend, forgive me. I took the life of a man I loved and ate his flesh. This I deserve. It's done. You may feed on his essence. I think I need a moment. You can rest inside. No more maggots. Ben is gone for good.
killed and ate his friend. When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Yeah, just like you. Just like me. I never thought I'd blame anyone. I've not killed since I quit the army. I swore I'd never kill again. It's not too late to change our minds. We made the right choice. We made it together. No turning back. Then, so I may have my resurrection, we'll steal human essence. We'll kill people for our own ends. Living, breathing people. We'll be banishers no longer. That's settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. Soon I'll reclaim my life. We will pay the highest of prices. We banishers may call it blaming, but our hearts will know we're taking lives. How many? I don't know. Perhaps too many to ask of you. I want us back, Red. I want revenge on what killed me. I want to live. I want it too. With the whole of my heart. No price too high. I will do it. By my oath, I swear it, my love. I'll see you back from the dead. Let's go back to the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains.
That's it. I think I can jump the gap. Your bane rings will help. Can you find the place where the stains align? Creeping ivy. I always hated these sap thirsty spectres. Right. Never better. That jump was quite something. Ghosts are quite something. But I feel clumsy. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. You've mastered everything else. No way through here neither, far as I can see.
Another road to nowhere. Can we jump this? Spectral stains are out of reach. I've nothing to work with here. So we find another way. Stupid country. When we get back to New Eden Town, you can make a complaint. Watch out! Spectre possession! Spectres have gathered around. Why not force them to appear? Toki me indrasta, skal nam phalas. That's not the ritual I'd have used. Show your shape in flesh! I failed this one all right. Hugging all the fun. There's more of them. Marcin left. This bike's not easily chewed. Spectre going for a big Out. Spectre possession.
one's protected. Just me, you. I felt it too. There are stains. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. I'm sure we can. Just try to be gentle this time. Hi. Trust me. Yes. Remind me to close my eyes next time.
Are you all right? Uh, a bit better right side up. What happened? Rope trap. Jacob Lind mentioned the hunter's camp. It may be close. Something's there. Something alive. Yes. Who are you and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name is Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water. And the tide took me. I survived. Up to now, anyway. I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Easy now. Stop your jiggling. Hold still, I said. You try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you. In that oh. case, Banisher, you may escape the trap yourself. Wait, what? No, no, come on! Our camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. Come back here. Shit! I don't suppose you can help me, can you? That was entertaining. It's good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive. No. Ask for help if you need it. Signs of life ahead. <laughs> 